Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we finished two bonds. And we changed some jobs. This time we're going to start with Yoongi's thing. Yo, Junki Han. If you're here drinking by yourself, I might as well join you. Is that so? Well, I have no reason to tell you no. Do as you like. By the way, Kasuga-san, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? What's up? I was contacted by someone in the Komijo. I have been told a group of people have been looking into me as of late. They seem to have learned that Jungi Han is somewhere in Ijincho. No fooling. What's that all about? No, we don't have much to go on at the moment. Nonetheless, we verified suspicious activity in my wake. That said, if they come seeking hostility, you and the others may be dragged into it along with me. Well, what are friends for? Good shit. I'll be sure to keep an eye out. My apologies for any inconvenience. Don't sweat it. Have you told Sachan or Namba yet? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Then we should stay quiet until we know who these mystery men are. I don't want to make them worry until we can fully explain what's going on. <laughs> That's clever. Ooh, and like a little one. cool. So, any guess as to who these guys might be? I can't be 100% certain, but it's highly likely that they're remnants of the Jingon Mafia. Jingon Mafia? Then they're basically old allies, right? It's hard to say. To them, I'm just cannon fodder impersonating their dead boss. Perhaps they see that as unforgivable, in which case their goal would be to punish me. Punish? It's possible they'd go so far as to kill me. Then couldn't we just avoid all this shit by saying you're not Junki Han anymore? Maybe so. It's gotta be weird being another person forever. It's probably best to just be yourself, right? If I were you, I'd try to get my old name and face back. Hmm. <laughs> a name is one thing. A face, however, it's not something you can change time and time again. Moreover, I'm still waiting for more information on my pursuers. We shouldn't need to take action just yet. Well, it's your call, so I'm good with that. But won't it be a drag if you get caught with your pants down and you're left wishing you would have been ready? <laughs> right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Man, you're always playing it so fucking cool. Would it kill you to listen to someone else for once? I'd ask that you refrain from praise. You'll only embarrass me. It wasn't a damn compliment. Alright. So he's old too now. At least his things will be easier to level up. Alright. We need money. And that's a problem. To move on. So there's a couple ways we can do this, but... I'll do that eventually. We need to... I kind of need to spam to get money for a little bit. And that kind of disappoints me. I don't remember where... I, I legitimately do not remember where... I think it's this one. Shouldn't do that. The easiest way to get money, so... What do you think about things? And I'll be right back. All right, and now we're back. First thing we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and finish this. I went and did a lot of grinding. Thanks to your investments, I was able to get all the equipment I needed. The workshop's finally back to where it was. Thanks so so much, Kasuga-san. No need to thank me. You're not the only one benefiting from it. With equipment like this, the workshop can start putting itself back on the map. I had mostly given up on it until now. I'm going to do my best to get this place popular again. <laughs> That's a Sumire-chan I know. Let's keep helping each other out, okay, Miss Manager? Yeah, likewise. All right. Hey, I got an achievement. All right. So we don't have to upgrade anymore. At this point, I do need to start getting better weapons. But the problem is, at this point... Oh, freak out. Oh, I cannot upgrade anything. 
Oh crap, I can joker at something. Well, freak, he's getting that. Look at him. Wow. Pretty good. Remember, it's a t t t really? How much money do I have? Okay, I'm still at 4 million. That kind of worried me for a second. Cause I'm like, wait, I cannot go too low. If I do, I'm going to have a bad time. So no now Adachi's actually relevant now, which makes me feel a lot better. So let's go ahead and go to Survive Bar. And now that I have 3 million in hand, we can go wait there. Because having 4 million, which... Okay. This happened last time. Hello? Mitsu? Aniki? Mm -hmm. hmm? Wait, Mitsu? Yep, do you have a second? I need to talk to you about our our, our son. So all the allies are gonna need soon. <laughs> <laughs> you better have time. I've been for this call my whole life. Thanks. So yeah, Arcal, he's actually Uh oh. Wait. Hey, hold on, Ichiban. What's all this about going to Osaka? <laughs> It turns out Arakawa-san needs some help. My help. Mitsu just called me and said Arakawa-san's already on his way to Sotenbori. But why Osaka? I don't know. I didn't bother to ask. You realize Sotenbori is where the Omi Alliance is headquartered. You'll be screwed if your cover gets blown. Think about that, would you? All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san said he needs me. He's going to Osaka, so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. <sighs> he gets like this, Hidachi-san. And there's no point stopping him, is there? Loyalty is admirable, but jeez. Ichiban, what about Ijinsho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? Not at all. We got the three million yen we needed. And I'm gonna go give it to the Seiryu clan right now. We may have the money, but that hasn't solved our lack of a candidate. Certainly a necessary element of the plan. Didn't Chairman Hoshino say he'd take care of it? Don't worry. He's the kind of guy who keeps his word. If we give him the cash, he'll do the rest. If you say so. Safe travels, then. Hey, don't encourage him to do such dangerous things. Kasuga, if you really are leaving, we're coming with you. Sounds good to me. I've never been to Osaka. Guys, I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going straight into the lion's den. Assuming Adachi-san is right and that's where the Yomi home base is. You guys don't need to get involved. This is... personal for me. Come on, man. After all we've been through, aren't we friends? Of course. I'm saying this because we're friends. If something happens to me out there, you gotta finish what we started. Still sounds like a load of crap to me. Well, think what you want, but we got the three million yen, and I'm taking it to Hoshino. I'll see all of you around. I mean, that's interesting. Like, that wasn't something I was expecting. It's nighttime now. Uh, I need red light district. That's that's an interesting it interesting interest like we're gonna give the man three million dollars and we're bolting strip club that's an old timey building hey, check it out Ichiban they're looking for part timers 900 yen an hour huh? think about it make a little money two birds one stone huh two birds one stone Getting paid's one bird, so what's the other? Huh? Oh, well, uh, uh, by the feeling of contributing to the betterment of society? Pull that out of your ass, didn't you? I'm kidding. But I should tell you, it's not like you'd be able to watch the show. What? I know the guy who runs the place, and they're looking for someone to help with ticketing and equipment. Oh, I see. Should I open it? I may have just ruined that talk. Yeah, dude. 
That's too bad. Oh, crap, what did I do now? Huh? What's with him? Crap, he saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. Uh, help you with what? Uh, to tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. But I don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Here, see for yourself. Ah! <laughs> Right. Well, I'll catch a cold. See ya. Wait, please. Don't you see? I can't get on a train like this. Yo, back off. You're getting bubbles everywhere. How did you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today, I was enjoying my time at a soap land, getting nice and sudsy. This new girl, Mika-chan, is just so cute. Uh-huh. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered, and... Your grandma's passed out, he tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? Huh? No way. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. Yep. So, uh, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? That's right. There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. What if something happens to my grandma while you're out shopping? And if you don't pick out something in my size, or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time. You're seriously thinking about style right now? Look, if you're that worried about it, just go to the store yourself. Believe me, I would, but it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? What? Okay. One puddle, one little splish of water, these bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Well, it's not like you couldn't get arrested right now. Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please! Uh. A shopping district? Yeah. All right, I'll take you. <gasps> really? You're a lifesaver. We just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes, please. Oh, uh, my name's Awano, by the way. <laughs> I'm Kasuga. Well, let's get you dressed before you get arrested. Alright, gotta be careful and avoid water at all costs. How hard is that gonna be? Well, I was gonna do objectives today, but... The game said no. Where am I going? Probably there. It shouldn't be hard to prevent him getting wet. I can't go that way? What the heck is going on over there? Alright. 
I'm gonna avoid the water ran. Is that a fire truck too? What on earth is going on? Are people just casually just ignoring the fire truck guy? Okay, that was easy. Phew, get you here though. Uh, hanging out. Arigatou it's a buddy, be right back. Okay. Sure, go ahead. Come on. Things you shouldn't say without context. Mm -hmm. Wait. The... He doesn't have pockets! That... Wait, wait, that's he about some clothes. Here we go. That's a misunderstanding. Come on, this rate. We just got to the store. This code is doesn't end, does it? Hey. Hold on, my friend here. It's a... There's a reason why the dude's name. Is there? Uh -huh. Yep. Throw just passed out. He was in the bath. He got the message. He couldn't ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. His grandma passed out? Yeah. Yep. Do it for yourself to close, please. He's already made enough of a save. I'm just trying to help this fool get to the hospital to see his grandma. I don't know, I understand. I just wait right this way. Wow. Mm. This is a serious face that people will buy just about anything. Gossip guy, I was gonna get some clothes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Now that I think about it, how'd you pay? I... What are you naked? <laughs> We're gonna be frowning with people that clothes. We put them on a tab. A tab? A clothes? What is that? For your debt. With that, I'm gonna see my grandma. Okay. Yeah, get going. <laughs> what the freak just happened? Wait, go see him again? Boy, I said, I got a bad feeling about this. Like, we just spent like five minutes chasing this guy around. And for what reason? To... Uh, and it looks like he's in the very exact same spot we just left him. So I'm curious to what's gonna happen. Even though I should be focusing on doing the story mission, but no, I'm more worried about... Don't fight me. I should have fought him. I know it'd be stupid to fight him, but. Oh, he's in the same spot. Yo, if it isn't Awano. Oh, Kasuga san. Nice to see you again. So, this is the Kasuga san that helped you. That's right, the very same. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. A mysterious blush? Y you sure? Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Is this her plan? Where would you like to go, Grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, <laughs> we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Take care of your grandma. Of course. Eesh, didn't know bathing could run in the family. Uh, I mean, what the heck, game? Well, on that note, let's go ahead and call things off here. Next time, y'all can like a dragon. Let's go give some money to a cherubin. I'll see you then.